What does it take to create a well-rounded learning environment, one which students thrive and are put on the path to success? Our next guests have come up with a formula <laughs> and it's working. <laughs> we would like to introduce to you the principal of St. Francis de Sales Catholic School in Salisbury. This is Debbie Traum. Thank you so much for Debbie. Thank you for having me. But Chili, can I, can what I are just, you doing? We need to ask you about the penguin in the room. I What's thought you were in Antarctica on vacation. <laughs> what are you doing here? Come on around here, oh Chili. My so Chili is our school mascot. Uh -huh. And if I take you back to 1949, when the school began, Hi, Chili. <laughs> oh, yeah. Aww. Aww. Very nice. The then bishop in Baltimore sent a group of nuns by boat to Salisbury, uh, charged to begin a school, if you can imagine. And they had complete reign of what everything knew that was St. Francis, and they thought that a penguin represented the nuns as a mascot. So that's why. Oh, Penguins are still okay. on that gotcha. But this is really not chilly inside. Is no? It? No? Who is inside? Who is inside? Reveal there? yourself. I think the real chilly is really in Antarctica. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my my advancement director who is involved in helping with development and growing our school. Wow. Sarah, welcome yeah. to the show. Thanks. Glad you're here. Thank, Thank you for you. bringing Chili or All right. Love it. So, love it. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie, give us an overview of what St. Francis de Sales, uh, it's a private school, pre-K through eighth grade. Yes. Tell us about it. We are so excited that um, enrollment is up and I think the reason enrollment is up is the word is out. Um, we are a faith-based school. Um, our students go on to do amazing things in the community and beyond. Um, everyone knows that um, they're going to get a rigorous academic education, but they're also going to be um, treated individually. It's not that cookie cutter Catholic school that our grandparents might remember. Um, education is a lot more individualized today. So you've got several values, and you mentioned faith. Yes. Starts with that. Yes. Why? So faith, obviously based on Christ-like attitudes um, and the way we deal with the world. Um, our theme this year, which is actually from our diocese, is to Jesus through Mary. So there'll be a lot of focus this year on um, what we call Marian traits and uh, prayer. Um, Pope Francis has called the whole Catholic world to be much more welcoming and accepting. Mm -hmm. And so people will be happy to know that we do accept students from other faiths. Although we do um, learn about the Catholic faith, um, we embrace others as well as part of our student body. So not everyone in, sitting in class with you at St. Francis will be a Catholic Christian, but they may be another Christian faith. Um, they may be Jewish, they may be Muslim. Um, and so we really are living out what Pope Francis has called us to do. All right, faith above all else, but then there is uh, academic, uh, rigorous academic curriculum. Yes. Um, we've adopted a new program this year called STREAMS, which is a mouthful of an, an, acronym, an acronym, can't say that word, um, the, the old science, technology, um, we've added R for religion, engineering, arts, math, and then St. Francis put a little twist and we have Spanish, the S at the end, because we have a very strong Spanish program. Um, Basically, streams is just integration of all those things and knowing that the brain works better, we retain things better when there are those connections in our brain. So you also focus on the student as a whole. We offer so many programs. Many people are surprised to see in such a small school um, sports activities, soccer, lacrosse, golf for our students in grades five through eight, a wonderful fine arts program in which our eighth graders perform at the SU Black Box Theater. Um, theater is offered as a class in middle school, which is unheard of anywhere else in middle school. Mm -hmm. So our, between fine arts and sports, there's something for everyone at our school. Now, um, you mentioned service. Your students do a lot of service work. There is a strong emphasis on that, isn't yes. there? We are, of course, called again by our faith to serve others. And it happens on a daily basis where you see prayer partners, older students and younger students helping each other. Um, in a bigger scale each month, a class has a particular project, like we collected pajamas for the Joseph House, canned goods for the Christian shelter. 
Um, but the capstone project, service project this year will be our eighth grade class will travel to Nicaragua where we have mm -hmm. a sister school and uh, they will be involved in helping with some engineering um, activities at the school and just enjoying the company of, of pen pals that they've been oh talking with. Thanks. So it's an exciting uh, year for us. So sir, enrollment is open now? It is open. Um, proud to say that we have some actually waiting lists. We have a couple classes that we no longer can accept. We can put you on the list to see if anyone, you know, can't go, you know, go forward with the year. Uh, which hasn't happened for a couple of years, so it's an excitement part, you know, wow. part of the school. It's really amazing. Plus, when I put on the penguin costume, you know, and Sarah, so. you have children that attend St. Francis de Sales, and so mm. when you take, you have the penguin hat off, but <laughs> but the you put on your mom hat. What would you say about their experiences there? Well, the best part is that I have four boys, and one has already gone through actually St. Francis, and now is a tenth grader. And the rigorous program that they put on my son for the first eight years was so, I thought was so hard, but to see him in the top level, he's in Spanish three already, usually you're, you're not in that you know, high uh, class. And he says it's not actually easy, but he's not as stressed, like he knows how to manage. And you know, C's are just not, are just not gonna cut it. He, with you know, our school, you know, we expect A's and B's. That's yeah. just what it is. And if you start young, you build this phenomenal, um, ground lane patchwork that kids are like, you know, actually sponges, you know, you, you know, teach them young and that's just what they're used to. And then I have three boys that are coming in as well. Uh, one's in pre-K and one's in kindergarten. And I will say our Spanish is phenomenal. My uh, pre k uh, last year, he was four, came home, come on, estas, muy bien. And I'm like, <laughs> I learned that in fifth grade, okay? So, oh my yeah, so we teach them young and it's, it's a phenomenal. So you're the advancement director. You've I seen am. a lot of success. Yes, yes I have. With, um, with kids coming in from the actual public to the private, when they come in and they see the small classrooms, their one-on-one -on -one actually ratio, um, that they're, we teach to the kid, we don't teach to the class. So, and having four boys, they are not the same. No. And it's a, it's a, it's a very comfortable, uh, you know, way to come in there. And, you know, our, our, I guess knowing that they're not gonna be taught the same because I have one son that needs a little bit more extra time one-on-one -on -one, and I have no doubt that he won't get what he needs. So it's a, it's, it, it's a very growing, you know, actually, you know, academic, well-rounded school. That's I'm very fantastic. proud. Debbie, proud. Sarah, thank yes. you. And thank good you. luck yeah. with thank the upcoming you. year. Thank you. Give Chile our best. <laughs> we certainly will. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to read more about St. Francis of Sales Catholic School in Salisbury, go to delmarvalife.com.